Hey, it's Paul here. Um, probably haven't heard from me for a while because I've been finishing off some books. In fact, the latest one uh, launched a couple of days ago, 101 Labs, CompTIA Linux Plus, which is why I've been so busy getting that ready. Now it's December and I normally take December off, but I thought I'd do a quick blog video for you. Actually, I've got a whole... I've got hundreds of books right next to me, which you can't see, but I, I've picked a few which I wanted to discuss briefly. And I'm going to give you uh, the best tips out of each of these best books. Now, these are non-technical books, but they make a huge difference to your success in life, your success in IT, and your ability to effectively study and retain what you're learning and put it into practice. So the kind of books are success, because if you just learn technical books or just read technical books, you're going to miss out on quite a few of the important skills. So um, I'll put the links in the description box. Tom Hopkins, I've got loads of his books, and he generally writes books about how to sell. And if you're going to sell to people, you need to have certain skills, in, including uh, listening skills and um, being able to understand what people want and uh, solve their problems. So uh, I'll find this one here first. I'll have to do a quick um, search. There's a few books of success. Now this is in my uh, my website actually for members. If you go to members and then exam coaching, there's loads of exam coaching stuff here, but then I do some book summaries. So the official guide to success by Tom Hopkins, the link will be in the description, but uh, here's a summary of what Tom uh, discusses. And there's a, a little bit of blurb about the book. Flip your internal switch from lose to win. Start out by telling yourself you can do it, which is really important for all of us. If you can do this often enough with emotion attached, this will flip your internal switch. And the key here is with emotion attached. I talk about this elsewhere in videos and, and coaching, but you must have an emotion attached to any goal, otherwise you'll quit like most people do. Do the most important task possible at that given moment, no matter how hard, distasteful or worrisome. Before you spend years hunting for success, just spend a few minutes defining it. I used to think I wanted to pass a certain IT exam, the Cisco CCIE, and I spent two years studying. Um, that wasn't a waste, but it turns out I didn't really want to be a, C a CCIE after all that. Find a way to learn from those who've already done it, uh, what, what it is you want to do, and hopefully that includes me. Take full responsibility for my actions and my life. My well-being is in the best hands it could possibly be, my own. Use anxiety and stress to spur yourself on instead of letting it cause you to feel depressed. Don't take rejection personally. You can achieve anything you want if you're willing to pay the price. And we all know that for taking IT exams. Take care of any interruptions without getting involved more than necessary. If you can't create much, um, you can't create much if you're not willing to delegate. So at the moment I get people doing my gardening and other things for me so I can speak to you and write books. Review your progress same time each week. I do it on Sunday evenings. Um, there's a clickable link to the books um, on the website. So a really good book. I recommend you look through that. One which is um, pretty hard to get hold of, which is one of my favourites. I read this all the time. In fact, if I open this book, you can see I've highlighted uh, bits in this book, all sorts of parts. And I regularly reread them because um, there's different times in my life when I'm in a different position. So the same with the Tom Hopkins book. There's lots of highlighted parts. So Rhinoceros Success, just here. And I'll just read some of the main uh, things from this that I've learned. You almost, um, you almost enjoy taking punches because you know it's toughening you up. <laughs> You never charge it two things at once, i.e. goals. You concentrate on getting the first target, then you fix your concentration on the next goal. Rhinos don't need artificial sim stimulants. Think big, rhinos never charge at jackrabbits. So this is small things that aren't important. Associate with the doers, the achievers, the positive live wires. Don't plan too many things at once. Rhinos charge with the singleness of purpose. At least twice a year, take one week off and go and lie in a mud hole. It's easy to discipline others. To discipline yourself is difficult uh, to master. 
If you dread each day because of your work, get out fast, plan your escape, which is what IT exams do for us. Get in shape, a healthy body is required for having a rhino life. If you don't have any problems, double check your bearings, you could be on your way to nowhere. Worry is a fatal disease in all, um, found in all animals except of course the rhino. And there's the um, image to the book, I've got an older copy. Next is probably the most important book I'm going to discuss, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. It's got different covers on Amazon, but this is absolute uh, gold. And it, um, I ended up writing some of the main points in the cover here. And um, if you go in, you can see I've got yellow highlighter. Maybe you can't see. And then also a pink highlighter because I go over it at different times when I've got different things going on. So The Slight Edge, Jeff Olson. Really good book and I strongly recommend this. Um, show me mad at what a man does and I'll show you his philosophy. Successful people fail their way to the top. Little steps compounded make a difference to so do a little bit every day. The simple things are, e uh, are easy to do but they are also not easy not to do. So easy to skip things that you should you know, you know sh you should be doing. How to feed your mind is every bit as critical as how you feed your body. Success is the progressive realisation of a worthy goal. It's never too late to start. I get asked this a lot. Position your daily actions so time is working for you instead of against you. Successful people do whatever it takes to get the job done, whether or not they feel like it. So that's really important. I don't think there's many days we actually feel like studying. We just have to do it. Mastery is not some vaulted lofty place that only the elite few ever land. If you can solve big problems, you can graduate to big pay, especially true for IT problems. Find out what the majority is doing and do the opposite. Hang out with people who've been there and done that. And there's the image to a later uh, version. Next thing on the next book, how to win friends and influence people. So this is Dale Carnegie and then this has spawned an entire um, set of courses that you can actually take around the, take in different places around the world. But really important book if you want to get along with people. Don't just be the technical person at work that can't speak. Um, it's more natural to talk about what you want to talk, uh, what you want than to talk about what other person wants. Don't criticise, condemn or complain. Give honest and sincere appreciation. If there's any one secret to success, it, it lies in the ability to get the other person's point of view and see things from that person's angle as well as from your own. Become genuinely interested in other people. Smile. Be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Show respect for the other person's opinions. Never say you're wrong. Praise the slightest improvement and praise every improvement, especially true if you've got kids. So take these lessons with you into the workplace. Strongly recommend this book. Now you can see actually I've done a summary for loads of books here. And I wrote a book a few years ago. Uh, let me try and... I don't know if I've got it to hand actually. I wrote um, a summary of the best 50 success books um, I've ever read. But this is the mother of all success books. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Obviously, it, these are, or some of them are in audiobook format. So if you prefer audiobooks, this is Stephen Covey, probably one of the best books ever written on success and life. Really, really good book. And I've got the tapes of this. this is a, a seven hour presentation he did. Do the things others cannot be bothered in, to do in order to achieve a higher aim. Admit mistakes openly and quickly. Make and keep commitments and honour your promises. Until you can understand others' ways of seeing through really listening to them, you cannot be truly successful. We do what we do, what we do and think all the time makes us who we are. Overnight success is usually the result of years, planning, practice and visualisation of the desired results. You always reap what you sow. So um, I hope it helps. These are just a taster of some of the books I've done a summary for. Like I said, all my members get access to this brain training programme, exam coaching, where we talk about goals and defeat pro procrastination, a uh, whole course, course on memory mastery, dealing with stress, entire mini courses. 
of ebooks and audios, mind mapping, goal setting. Um, so this is just a taster, but I hope it helps and um, I'll see you on the next video.